Hey guys, Oliver Winters here today. I'm back with another video. And today, as you can see, I am joined with this HP desktop that I have showed off in my previous video, um, the one that I got for free. And in the video, I said that I probably was going to use this to uh, basically become a server for myself. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be installing <laughs> Windows Server 2025 build you know what, I actually don't know what the latest build is. I haven't got any of it prepared yet. Um, I, I figured go ahead and do the intro first and then get the rest prepared. I'm just gonna get a USB stick and I guess plug it into the back of it somehow. I'm not really sure because this computer only has a little DVD drive right here and that's it. There's no more peripherals, which doesn't make too much sense. Oh, you know what? I just realized. Here they are. There's the peripherals. And they are looks like they are all USB 2. So, yeah, it's USB... What is that? Oh, it's SD card. So they're all USB 2, so this isn't that new, but again, this has an Intel 6th Gen in it. It has 16 gigs of RAM, which is a good freaking amount of RAM. Uh, it has that 2 terabyte hard drive. Um, if I need, I have another hard drive. I have a few hard drives. Um, I'll have to pull the SATA cables out, but that's okay. So yeah, basically this is going to replace and pardon the mess. There's a huge mess because I'm I'm still in the process of like moving everything around. It is going to be replacing this right here. I've got this piece of junk as my server at the moment. It has some crappy AMD CPU in it. I'm not exactly sure what it is anymore. It's been a minute, but it cannot handle Windows Server 2025 for the life of it. Um, Cause I like being an insider of stuff. So I like beta builds as you can see from my previous videos and yeah um when you turn this thing on it doesn't do anything anymore it was working fine and then it refused to install the next update and then it would for some reason it started crashing and now it keeps crashing it and now it's in a boot loop or something i can't see it because it has vga so what i was going to do was take this out put this one in its place and then I was gonna take this one and use that monitor, because I actually haven't used that yet. And we'll use that monitor to see what the heck's been going on with this one, and probably just throw this one into storage and use it for any a video I might need to use it for. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this out, plug this one in, get everything plugged into it, and turn it on and record the process. All right, I have officially got it plugged in. I got everything sorted out. Um, the hard drive on this thing is definitely full, like to the brim pretty much, it has like a few megabytes left. I'm going to try and plug the USB into this and hope that I don't have any issues with it. Well, I can't even get, seem to get any in there. There we go, got this one in. Oh, I see it was bent up a little bit. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and turn it on and you guys will see the screen itself show up on my recording software so you won't see me like holding it up against the monitor. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and turn it on. Just realized I don't even have a mouse and keyboard connected to it. As you can see, we are now booting into the, uh, hopefully we're booting into Windows Server. Yep, there it is, there's the Windows logo, cool. Now, there, the fact that this is filled up to the brim is bothersome, but unfortunately there's nothing I can do about it. Alrighty, so I don't have a mouse, so I'm just gonna be using my keyboard. I mean, I have plenty of mice, obviously, but I don't have any that I can plug up at the current moment. Go ahead and just use the keyboard there. Um, shift plus. For, the future, for future reference, people that don't know, if there's a checkbox and pressing enter doesn't work, hold shift and press plus. Now everything will be white. 
pay? I want to use Windows Server pay as you go? Interesting. Okay, well, fortunately, they give you a product key for Windows Server. Obviously, I'm going to choose Desktop Experience. Accept the EULA, of course. Hopefully, oh my god, look at all that. Look at all of this space. Okay, so there's 63 gigabytes left. Let's go through here and delete all these partitions. That's a lot of partitions, holy crap. I'm not sure why it says there's disk 2, but... No, I shouldn't bother disk 1 because that is the uh, USB drive I'm using this to install this on. Okay. Anyways, without further ado, let's just go down here to push next. Supposedly. There we go. And install. There we go. And now we're going to let it run through it. So far, everything's good. I've been needing an upgrade to my server also, so this is a this is hype for me. Unfortunately, it's running on hard drive. On a hard drive that doesn't seem to be very fast, but I'll deal with it for now. Screen gone black. All right, we got the HP logo now with the Windows 11 boot circle thing. Is that a little dot? And I hope this loads without any issues. Oh, this is interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen it do this before. Interesting, indeed. Okay, well, looks like it's already time to create an account. Well, without further ado, I guess that's what I'm going to be doing. Well, I hope I typed it in correctly. That sucks not having a mouse. I can't believe they still have the freaking Windows 10 dots, Windows 8, Windows 10 dots. Well, it looks like we're already in. Like, no setup process or anything. Not even connected Microsoft account or nothing. Okay, I think I did type it in correctly. That's good. And it seems like it's logged in a lot faster than the uh, older other computer, so... Clearly, this one is at least better. By the way, I never actually said, but this... Um, build is, uh, build 26085. At least now I'll be able to see the, uh, cool little background. Oh, now am I setting up an account? What's going on here? Websites you browse and how you use apps. Let's just do this one for now. And we're in. Cool. So yeah, I guess I now have Windows Server installed. I'll set it all up at a later date, but I do have it installed. Let's take a look at um, everything about this computer. Well, if I can get 
to where I need it to be. There we go. Alright, about PC. So, we have an, an... Okay, I was right, it's a 6th generation. It's an Intel i7-6700, which is very... It's pretty decent, actually. Um, I was right, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I'm not exactly sure what else to really show. It's got the two terabyte hard drive, as you guys can see. Huh, so some of the drivers aren't there, so I'll go ahead and install those with the typical SDI that I use. And yeah, I guess that is it for this episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. And check it down in the, in the description below. I've got a Discord server and a, little of, a few other uh, links down there. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys later. Goodbye, guys. Thank you.